Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about how you can build your Apache Ant projects with Jenkins, both by using the web user interface and by using a Jenkins file and creating a Jenkins pipeline. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to put together a build job in Jenkins that builds an Ant project. As you can see, I've got a little project here. It's called RPS Ant. It stands for Rock, Paper, Scissors application that uses Ant. And I've got my build.xml file. It actually is based on a, another Maven project. And if you actually look for the Ant targets, you'll see a bunch of Ant targets like clean and compile and test. And those are the Ant targets that I'm going to call. So there's a couple of ways to do it. I'm going to show you how to create a Jenkins file and I'm going to show you how to do it with a freestyle project. We'll start off with a freestyle project because that's usually easiest. I'm going to create a project here. I'm going to call it the Apache Ant and Jenkins build job example. So I'll paste that right in there. Select freestyle project and click okay now if you want to build code you got to get code so over here on my github repository this is the rps ant github repository i'll click the beautiful green button that gives me a link to the github url that hosts this repository i'll copy that come over to my build job click on source code management select git wait for the git window to come up which sometimes <laughs> takes a while let me see, sometimes I have to click apply and then see if that will come up. Come on up, Git. Maybe if I save it, go back to configure it. Yeah, just sometimes it takes a little while. It's a little sleepy today. There we go. We need the Git repository. So that's where I paste it. And I don't know, sometimes the UI doesn't come up right away. Notice I'm pulling off the master branch. Uh, GitHub's now changing master to main. So just keep that in mind. If you're doing this yourself, you might need to specify main as the default branch, but that's going to allow that build to happen. Well, that's not actually going to allow the build to happen. What that will do is that will allow the code to be downloaded. If you want the build to happen, you got to click on this build link here and then add a build step. And we say invoke Ant. Now I should mention that the Ant plugin has been installed, but it's a default plugin with Jenkins. I should probably also mention that Ant is installed locally. So if I do an Ant version call, you can see I've got 1.10.7. So if you don't have Ant installed, um, you're going to run into trouble here. And you can install as a tool and manage Jenkins as well. Now I want to specify a couple of targets here. I'll throw a bunch in. I probably don't need to put all of these in, right? I mean, because war includes package, but I just want to demonstrate how it looks. So I'll say clean compile test package war. I'll save that up and I'm done. I'll just click build now and watch the beauty of the build happen. I'll click on the build here. I've got the ability to look at the console output as it's generated. And you can see, look, all of these different uh, tasks are being called. We've got the Git checkout there. So you see it going to GitHub and pulling my GitHub repository. You see all of these different tests run, and then we see that the build was successful. So I'm pretty happy about that. That means that my Jenkins build was successful. Now that's how you would do it with a simple freestyle project. The other option is to create a Jenkins file. And I like the Jenkins file. I like to write my pipelines as code. Um, and so I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So it's relatively straightforward if you've got the code. Click on the Jenkins head, takes me back to base. I'll click on new item here and I'll call this the Jenkins pipeline ant build and I'll click on the little Super Mario looking pipeline right there. Click OK and all of my options appear. Now, I'm just going to click on pipeline here because everything I want in the pipeline uh, is just written in code. I don't really have to manage much of the other properties. I just throw everything right in there. And you can see basically I'm going to run a pipeline that runs on any agent. I'm not using Docker or anything right here. So let's just run locally. I'm going to print out the version of Ant that we're using in the first stage. And then the second stage, I'm going to do that Jenkins Ant build that pulls from GitHub. And so this line of code here pulls from GitHub, Git, blah, 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 RPS Ant. And then finally, we'll just run Ant as a, a shell script. You can also use a with Ant notation which we'll call the ant plugin but you know i i really don't uh, have a great deal of need for that ant plugin unless i'm doing some more advanced scripting and so there you go that puts the pipeline in that's saved i click apply i click save and i click build now 
And as this builds, I got a nice little UI that comes up that shows me the stages as they progress. I kind of like that. So you see the lock version info tells me the printout from that particular stage. And then we've also got the GitHub Jenkins ant build, which looks like it's successful. And I can look at the logs here and we can see that, yeah, indeed, we actually got our, our build to run. And so there you go. That is how you put together your Jenkins ant build. And whether you want to use the basic UI or whether you want to put that together with a Jenkins pipeline. Now, one thing I didn't cover here is Jenkins ant Docker builds. That's a little bit different and then I'm going to do that in the next tutorial. And there you go. That's how easy it is to build your Apache Ant projects with Jenkins. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Jenkins, Apache, Git, DevOps, enterprise software development in general, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.